Hello and thank you and my name is Will Branny and I'm an IBM technical specialist specialising in data and AI and Cognos Analytics. Today I'm going to show you Watson Knowledge Catalog which is a secure enterprise catalog management platform supported by a data governance framework and is part of the Cloud Pack for Data platform of which Cognos Analytics is an integral part of. I think it's fair to say that many leading organisations would describe themselves as having or being on the road to having a data-driven strategy, and most also have a requirement to make data-driven decisions on a constant basis. There's also a broad understanding that an organization's success is increasingly dependent on its ability to understand the data at its disposal. However, for something that's clearly so important, why are so many organizations continue to struggle with their data management and AI practices? Well, this graphic gives you a small insight into why. As these numbers suggest, it's so difficult to get a handle on your enterprise's data when data volumes continue to dramatically increase. A Seagate study from 2020 predicted 42% annual growth in data volumes between 2020 and 2022. And with this growth, significant amounts of potentially valuable data, on average 68%, is just not being analysed. Pulling data together from multiple sources and formats is often difficult. In fact, a Forrester report found that for 58% of organisations, data quality problems is the number one challenge. This is so true. Preparing data for AI is simply very time consuming and it was recently uncovered that 80% of data scientists' time was spent searching for high quality data, leaving them only 20% for the actual work such as data analytics or machine learning where the true business impact is created. Well, luckily for you, IBM's Watson Knowledge Catalog has addressed this problem and is an integrated and AI-enabled platform allowing end-to-end -end data ops and is a key component of the Cloud Pack for Data platform. In simple terms, Watson Knowledge Catalog can be split into three main areas. Data governance, data quality and data consumption. Data governance is about knowing your data and the need to comply with regulatory requirements, policies and standards. Data quality is about trusting your data because data is only useful if its quality, content and structure is well understood and because businesses need a continuous flow of reliable quality data. And finally, data consumption is about using your data and delivering business value from your data catalogue. So how does this fit in with Cognos Analytics, I hear you ask? Well, Cognos and Watson Knowledge Catalogue are all part of the Cloud Pack for Data platform. And Cloud Pack for Data starts with a common layer of integrated services deployed on Red Hat OpenShift running on any cloud, be that IBM, AWS, Azure, or even on-premise. Now, this layer of services allows you to collect information from any repository, databases, data lakes, data warehouses, with the intention for you to leave the data where it already resides using tools like data virtualization to eliminate the need for any ETL work. Once all of your enterprise data has been connected to, we bring in Watson Knowledge Catalog for governance, data quality and cataloging. And finally, at the Infuse layer at the very top, we have a range of AI, machine learning and analytics tools, such as Cognos Analytics, which allows you to infuse data and AI into your organisation. And Cognos, with its market-leading dashboard visualisations, is the perfect tool for doing this. So that's the tell you part of this presentation over with. I'd now like to move on to a demo showing you Watson Knowledge Catalog and a small data governance use case. In this demo, I'm going to take on the persona of a data engineer working for a chain of coffee shops, and I've been tasked with producing a catalogue of information to be used by the marketing department. They want a governed catalogue with enriched data assets to be used for future Watson Studio data science projects and by their Cognos analytics team. They want their data to be clear, concise, and above all, governed, so that they know they are working with properly managed data. They are increasingly concerned that there is a lot of sensitive information in their data sets and they want this to be governed so that sensitive personal information is masked and there is clarity around their data assets. They also want a strict list of users to be able to collaborate on these assets. I'll start at the Cloud Pack for Data welcome screen where I can see quick links to recent projects, catalogues, notification, requests and the task inbox. If I scroll down, I can also see a summary of all governance artefacts. Moving to the hamburger menu in the top left hand corner, I can see links to a wide variety of tools that can help me manage the full data ops lifecycle. 
But before I go into Watson Knowledge Catalog, let's take a quick look at the Services Catalog. Now the Cloud Pack for Data Services Catalog is like an app store where you can choose different services to extend the functionality of Cloud Pack for Data. I can initially see the premium AI services such as Watson Assistant, Watson Discovery and Watson Knowledge Studio. I can filter for analytics and see Cognos Analytics, Data Refinery, Decision Optimization, Planning Analytics and SPSS Modeler are all there too. By deploying the services such as Cognos Analytics in Cloud Pack for Data, I can take advantage of running Cognos Analytics in a modern container architecture with increased flexibility that is fault tolerant by design. It gives me access to exclusive functionality which is only available via Cloud Pack for Data, functionality such as data virtualization and Watson Knowledge Catalog being two of them. Let's have a closer look at Watson Knowledge Catalog and to do this I need to go back to the hamburger menu and select Governance. To start, I'm going to describe some of the key terms which are used in data governance. Now, business terms define business concepts in a standard way for the enterprise and are used to capture the language of business for a common understanding. For example, in this environment where I've imported the Knowledge Accelerator for Financial Services, customer loyalty is defined as the determination a customer has for continuing to use the services of the financial institution while recognising the customer has alternative choices. And Watson Knowledge Catalog uses machine learning models to automatically apply business terms to data assets as part of the data discovery process. Classifications are used to describe the sensitivity level of data and data assets. They're like tags. Confidential is a good example, and you can see here a description of the confidential classification. Data classes describe the data within a column such as name, email address, or US state name. They're automatically assigned as part of the data discovery and profiling, and you can see details of how the data is matched. Policies describe how to govern data in catalogues, and they are a major governance tool, and they describe and document your organization's guidelines, regulations, standards or procedures to ensure data and information assets are properly managed and used. They use data rules and data protection rules to do this. Now, protection of sensitive information is a good example of a policy and something I will show later on in this short demo. Like with any good Watson Knowledge Catalog demo, I'm going to start at the bottom rung of the AR ladder, which is data. And if I open platform connections, I can see how we would connect to a wide variety of data sources using Cloud Pack for Data and Watson Knowledge Catalog. For any successful data initiative, data scientists and data analysts need access to governed and curated source data as the first step before they can really do anything. Watson Knowledge Catalog supports over 50 connectors to IBM and third-party data sources. Example connectors include IBM data sources such as DB2, Infomix or data virtualization, plus third-party connectors ranging from Microsoft SQL Server to Salesforce, Dropbox, Cloudera and Looker. And additional JDBC drivers may also be added to connect to other sources not listed. If you are using Watson Knowledge Catalog with Cognos Analytics 11.1.6 or higher, then one of the great value propositions is that if these data sources are supported in Cognos Analytics, then they can be used in your Cognos Analytics content without having to define new connections. Thus, having a single place to define connections and maintain JDBC connectors is a great value add for data engineers. All you need to do is use the Data Catalog Data Server connection that allows you to connect to Watson Knowledge Catalog and reuse the platform connections through a single data server connection. My next objective is to create a data protection rule to protect sensitive information that is uploaded to the catalogue. I'm looking to prevent actual customers' email addresses from being shown to our data scientists. Now this is possible using data protection rules which apply to all governed catalogues and all assets in these catalogues. Without data protection rules, access to a data asset in a catalogue is only restricted by basic access controls, which only specifies the users who can view and use the asset, not the actual data. You can see in my environment there are already several different governance rules in place. For instance, all credit card information must be protected, and if we drill into this rule, we can see this is part of the protection of sensitive information policy. Let's filter for data protection rules and we can see additional rules blocking access if the asset is tagged as confidential. Let's add a new data protection rule, call it protect email addresses. 
We could choose our data class, email address, and then choose as an action to mask the data in columns containing a data class. When I choose to mask the data, I have a number of different options. I can choose to redact, which replaces the data with X's, or substitute, which replaces the data with randomly formatted characters, or finally, obfuscate, which replaces the data with similarly formatted values. Once saved, the rule is immediately active and working. So now it's time to create a catalog, and what's a knowledge catalog allows you to create different catalogs for different sets of users. Now a catalog is like a private community for your organization. It's a way of organizing resources that you can use in your data and data science projects. In a governed catalog, access to data assets will be enforced by the data protection rules that have been created. So when data assets are added to the catalog, they are automatically profiled to assign data classes to columns. So I'll create a new catalog, which is going to be used by the coffee shop marketing department. I'll call it marketing catalog, and I'm going to choose to enforce data protection rules. My next step is to add some data to the catalog. Now I'll start by adding an existing platform connection to the catalog. Here, I could define a new connection or simply move to the from platform tab and choose existing connections. I'm going to choose the DB2 DW connection and select add to catalog. I can now add individual tables by adding to catalog again, and I'll select the customer table from our data warehouse, which contains loyalty card data from our loyal customers. I'll name it as customer loyalty information. Because I'm using a governed catalog, I can profile the asset by navigating to the profile tab and create a profile of the asset. This profile is created on the first 5,000 rows of data and the resulting profile will appear on both the overview and profile tabs. Now this profile will take a few minutes to create. Now it's complete, I can see a profile of the data showing the inferred data class for each column, a frequency distribution and statistics such as unique values and character lengths. This profile provides me with deeper insight into the content of the data to help my users determine how the asset can be used. Because the data contains information that is classified as PI or personal information, then I can easily add a classification. I can also add further governance artifacts such as business terms, and I can do this at a table level and a column level. The next step is to add other members of the marketing team to the catalog as collaborators so they can access the assets in the catalog. Now Brian is a data scientist eager to get started on the data. So we'll add Brian as viewer, and as you can see, it's so easy to add collaborators to catalogs. So when Brian logs on and opens the catalog, he can see the data assets applied to him. And when he views the data via the asset tab, he can only see the masked data. There are four columns masked, email address, phone number, social security number, and credit card number and Brian can now use this asset in his Watson Studio project, safe in the knowledge that he is using secure and reliable data that has been properly governed using the Watson Knowledge Catalog governance framework. Thank you for your time listening to this short demo on where we've seen a data engineer create a governed data catalog. He has protected sensitive personal information and released the catalog to his team of data scientists ready to be used in future data science projects. And although it highlighted a very powerful use case for Watson Knowledge Catalog, we have barely scratched the surface in terms of features and functionality. If I had more time, then I would be able to show you so much more, such as data lineage, data discovery, or auto catalog, which are all in the latest version of Cloud Pack for Data, which can accelerate your journey to AI with greater trust and privacy. And let's not forget, Cloud Pack for Data has been named a leader in enterprise insight platforms in the latest Forrester report and with that, I'll hand back to Louis for the Q&A section.